Hey guys, welcome to My Crafting World. This is Anna. I have made so, so many gift bags and tags and cards for birthdays and celebrations, anniversaries for, uh, for the month of August. And it is my birthday month, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna make myself one, but um, yeah, so I have made so many bags and um you know i just thought why buy them if i can make them so i have made this gift bag for a, a special occasion for someone and i thought um i would take you along for the process and show you how i made it everything except the decorating of the bag um okay so the one thing that i did not share with you in the video is that when the bag is opened and i have already um put my my ribbon my handles on there i didn't like the way the bottoms of the you know the ties um stuck out so all i did was glue the t the tails of the um, bag down i hot glued them down so that they weren't sticking up and um allowed a little more uh, room in on on the top of the bag so that is the inside of the bag and that's how it looks in the end and um, yeah so I am happy with the turnout of the bag and let me show you guys the process on making the bag itself so there we go and yeah i will give you all the measurements you need to make this size bag in the video so let me show you how i make the bag guys okay guys so first of all we need two sheets of paper that are eight and a half by eleven so the the uh, bag that i am making it measures six inches wide by eight inches tall okay so you're going to do the same thing to each sheet of paper let me move this one out of the way so you are on the long side, you are going to, okay, on, I'm sorry, on the long side, on the 11 inch side, you are going to score at two, and this is 65 pound cardstock. So the thinner, the better, but um, anyway, so this is the, the 11 inch side. So you score it two and you score it 10. Oops, I think I went wrong there, I sure did. Okay, so 10 and then two, two and 10. And then on the long side, you're going to score at six. On the short side I'm so sorry on the short side you're going to score at six and I'm trying not to score too hard and you're going to score at eight okay so we're gonna do that twice long side we're going to score at two and ten Okay, on the short side, the eight and a half, and it this is your bottom, so you wanna kinda of keep them the way you did on the first one. So, um, okay, on your short side, so you flip it over once, okay? Flip it over once where the in, one inch side is on the top. You're going to score at six and eight. And that's all the scoring you're going to do. Okay, so we're done with our scoreboard. And we're gonna take our scissors and we are going to cut right here. We're gonna cut at an angle. Let me get my straight scissors. These are, sorry guys, my table is a royal mess. Okay, this is your top. The one inside is your top. The two inch side is your bottom. So we are going to cut, first of all, let's cut this little corner, this one right here. Let's cut that one off. 
okay? We're gonna cut at an angle, and then this is going to be a flap, so we are going to cut at an angle again. And then we're going to cut this at an angle, and this in an angle, okay? Uh, and then we are going to cut an angle on this side, okay? Which is your flap, your other flap. And then right here, we're going to cut at an angle, and we are going to cut this off, okay? So it should look like this. This is half your bag. Now let's make the other half. Again, we're gonna cut this at an angle, this at an angle, and then we are going to cut an angle out of this side, and then an angle right here, up to the score line, and then an angle right here, an angle right here where I made the mistake, and then we will just cut this off. Okay guys, so that is all the cutting that we are going to do. So we have two that look exactly the same. I am going to go ahead and fold in all my score lines on both sides. And just remember when you're folding, you need to fold the, the raised, the bumpy side bumpy side goes in okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to glue these two together this way okay before we fold that in we're going to fold um, glue this tab onto the side that does not have a tab <clears throat> So let me try to stay in frame here. And you can, you know what, let me use, let me use tape. I was gonna use my glue, but let me go ahead and use my tape. Now, I'm going to glue the sides together. And make sure they're nice and straight. See, that's why I kind of like to use glue because it's, it gives me a little time to work on it. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. So once you get one side done, the other side should be a lot easier because your box is already, or your, um, your um, paper is going to be as straight as it's going to get. Okay. So there we go. Okay, guys, there we go. I got a little bit of glue here on the outside. And I don't have my little glue eraser handy, so gonna have to stay like that for for now okay now I am going to fold this in but I'm not I'm not gonna go past this score line right here which is the bottom flap I am going to just fold it in half make sure I have a straight line 
And again, I'm not going to go past that score line right there. So that's one fold and then another fold on this side. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna pop it back out, straighten it out just as I can. And I'm going to fold these flaps in. But before I do that, I'm gonna put a bead of glue so that they will stay down. And that, this part, yes, it is a little tricky, but it can be done because you're not folding the entire thing on at the same time. Just make sure you don't. Um, I do this with liquid glue just because it's easier. It gives me a little more time to play around with it. Okay, now I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to fold down. That is one side. Fold this in. And then I'm going to do the other side. Fold it down. There we go. And that makes the inside nice and tidy. There we go. I'm gonna get my edges super straight. There we go. All right, and the reason being that it is hard for me to see this at an angle and try to stay focused. But there is the inside glued down. And you could do this before you tape, uh, you know, tape down both pieces together, but then you will have this right here this tab going all the way to the top and uh, it looks a little bit unfinished that way so there's that and then you flip it over stand it up and then flip these down I'm gonna flip these out for a moment flip these down and i am going to glue put glue around the edges the center because these are going to be your inside flaps that are glued down okay make sure your box or your bag is nice and square I'm going to put glue on this flap don't get too close to that edge because then you'll glue your bag all the way shut from the bottom and then you Again, make sure your bag is nice and square, and then just push down. All right, there's your bag, guys. Okay, now I am going to close, seal up my glue for one. Let me get my punch okay guys all I have done here is I marked one and a half inch from each side to where it doesn't bo bother this gusset right here and I am going to cut or I'm sorry punch a hole right here and then I'm going to punch one on the other side just gonna eyeball it hopefully I've got it closer to the there we go. Okay, those are my holes, guys. So now I just feed this through, tie it,
there's your bag guys okay I did forget one thing though if I want to fold it flat and I have, obviously I would do before the ribbon but just keep folding down choose what you want your back side to be I want this to be the back side and start it will go with the natural fold of the center line and you have your bag that folds flat see how it, it just follows that natural fold line there's the back there's the front open it up and you have your bag there you go guys easy peasy all right well thank you guys i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial it's i have made so many bags this month it's crazy so i thought i'd show you how i've been making my bags if i work on the dimensions i can make bigger bags smaller bags but um all you have to do is you know just do just you know work with your your dimensions and you can figure it out it's really simple if you need help figuring out the dimensions uh, leave me a comment and let me know what size bag you want with what size gusset and I can try to help you out Thanks. Thanks a lot guys Y'all have a great day So all I did for um, decorating the bag was I added this um, Copper colored paper at the bottom and I added two two mats and this one's up on dimensional And I added some trim here at the top. There's another different one here above this one and this one was um, sent to me in a swap by Linda and I ma made a bow with ribbon and seam binding and just put a flower right in the center and let me see I punched out a butterfly and on the paper that had you know this paper has um, polka dots on there and it is um, copper colored polka dots so all I did was put these little bling pieces on the polka dots that were fully exposed and I use a, um, a dye it was a dye from Aliexpress for the leaves and I stickled I'm not stickled but I did Winka Stella on all of the leaves and the flowers I just made a you know a triangle cluster here with two other flowers these are prima flowers and then these smaller ones are from aliexpress and then this one um i got off of amazon and then again i did a wink of stella on all the flowers so that they would shine as well as this one and yeah that's all i did guys i hope you have enjoyed this really quick easy tutorial and I will talk to everyone later. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.